Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Terraria! My name is Bad Banana Wizard, and we have, um, ah crap, <laughs> uh, we've <laughs> locked ourselves out of our own castle. Oh man, this is so bad. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh boy. Did not think about that. Um, <laughs> that's terrible. Oh boy. Get out of here, bunny. I am ashamed to even be doing this. Oh boy. Somehow I've locked myself out of my own castle and I'm going to have to dig myself back in every time. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the castle. Uh, which I'm probably just going to leave an empty hole next time. Haha, <laughs> that bunny is still in that cave down there. That is awesome. Oh, nice. It's good to know I did something useful. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to the castle. <sighs> Now I dug myself back in to the castle. A little awkward. Whew. Whew. Excuse me. And ah, what are we doing here? What we were doing probably could have done mining on the east side. No, no, you can't help me with anything, Gary. Anyways, we are getting more stone for the castle to be built. Lots and lots of stone. Buckle your beat belts. Beat belts. <laughs> Buckle your beat belts, because we are going to drop a beat. And you need seat belts that are made for beats. Or else you might just get hurt by my, you know, tripping over my inability to wrap. Let's just say. Not add any sort of color to my skin. Because it's very clear what color that might be due to my bad beating of the boxing and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's get some stone. Lots of it. Or you might say, let's get stone. No? Probably not. No, that, that, that'd probably be bad. Probably would not do anything effective if that were to be the case whatsoever. So let's just mine stone and leave it at that. It's going to take a lot of stone, um, probably well over a thousand pieces of stone for this castle, probably for the entire castle, well over maybe five to six, maybe ten thousand if we venture into that number. Probably, probably it's going to take more than ten thousand stone to get it all the way to the ceiling height that we'd already made. It's going to be some serious, serious castle making though. I'm going to be pretty pleased with how it turns out, I think. It's already coming along really well. Really impressed with uh, my ability to build the castle. <laughs> I've got a plan and a structure built in my mind for what I'm trying to do, so that's definitely a step above for most other projects I do, because most other projects don't go very far. And this one's going very, very well. And I believe I've already said that quite a few times, that this project's going well. <laughs> well, I think this project's well. And if you're not a well, you'd be a person. Wait a minute, that joke was done terribly wrong. Anyway, stone blocks for me. And maybe a little bit of dirt. Couldn't hurt because the dirt wouldn't hurt. Ha, ah, that's funny. Anyways, a little bit of dirt wouldn't hurt because of my needing to fill up the hole that I make every time that I'm going to be loading the game to get back into the castle. Uh, it's going to be funny. Funny, funny, funny. Maybe just make a temporary door there for now because I don't think gonna be a big issue. I think eventually I 
should be able to change my spawn point. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to, because... Like, if I chose to make my castle somewhere else, because, say, like, I don't know, when I start the game, if, like, the most optimal place to build something would be away from the spawn point, then you'd think it that you think that they would make it so that you could change where you're spawning, so you don't have to continuously and endlessly spawn in the same place over and over and over. And travel every time. Because that'd be really tedious. And extremely time consuming. Ready for the waterworks? Here we go. Whee! And I just threw a glow stick. And I did not mean to. Whatever. <laughs> Pour like a waterfall, my water. My cubie squared water. Of which I will take and throw a glow stick. This is one of those occasions where throwing a glow stick is actually good. Because I need to see under the water. Yep, didn't mean to throw another one, but whatever. It happened. Let's just dig our way through this stone. Kill two birds with one stone, get rid of all this water in this spot. Well, actually, it's probably going to flood somewhere down lower, so it's probably not that smart, but... Oh well, too late now. I'm going for it. And get some copper. Sweet. Can't go wrong with copper. Definitely not. Dirt? Yes, you can go terribly wrong with dirt. Copper? No. Do not want the dirt. So I will avoid the dirt. And get all this good copper, breathe a little bit, and get back down to business. Funky digging music starts. Wait for it. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I like the music in this game. It's very interesting. Keeps you very much immersed into it. Drain, drain, I need to breathe. Breathe. Yay. And that went rather smoothly. Actually, it looks like the water's going down there like a. pretty much like a drain pipe. I have created the world's most expensively time consuming drain pipe. You can thank me later, government. Something just got squished. Did, did I kill stuff from having the water go down there? Hmm. I was thinking that if maybe if the water got into the sand, something would happen to change the structure of the sand, but that's definitely not the case because that sand over there is not turning into anything and it's got water on it so it's probably not the case i wonder why the glow sticks sit there and i can't do anything to pull them out i wish i knew a little better on that but whatever you can see a nice little blink root over there blinking away that would be nice to grab, but I don't even know what the heck they're for, so I'm not really going to bother and spend my time getting them. But if I am going to be digging this way, then I might just grab it. If it's going to be worthwhile, because it might just be in a cavern full of zombies. Or maybe jellies. Nasty slimes. Jelly slimes. And I don't like jelly slimes. I'll tell you what I really don't like. So stupid jungle bats that my sinking spawn point is next to. That was a pain. Dig the dirt away. Get that. See if that's stone. Yep, that's regular old stone. Okay. Well, might as well just keep digging over here. Why not? It's quick and easy through the dirt. Get a little bit of stone out of it. And we'll grab a nice little hello emerald. There we go. Not sure what emeralds are for either, but they are gems and they are definitely precious. So I will take them. I see a little bit more emerald over here. Let me dig up a little bit. Is it daytime already? Or is that just kind of messed up? It says 3 p.m. Oh, well, it's because I went up a little bit, so that made the music change to whatever is going on on the surface. Never mind, I thought that it was nighttime, then it suddenly became daytime at 3 p.m. That'd be kind of awkward. Let me try to pick this ore. There we go. 
Get this ore. Is that an emerald? Nope, that's just stone. And chop our way over here to this blink root just because it's calling our names. Popple, come to me. I am emerald. And you want to get me and put me in your piggy bank. But I don't have a piggy bank. Buy it from the merchant. It only costs a gold. But that's a lot of money. And then what will I put in the piggy bank when I've spent all my money on it? I don't know. Just put me in the piggy bank. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Having dialogue with a blink root, which is an inanimate object in the game. Aside from luminosity. The luminosity is... Luminosity? Yeah, that's the right word. It's definitely animate. Animate? Is animate a word? I'll just make up words. Hello, Jelly Slime. I'm gonna hit you with my pickaxe. Now, how you doing? Can't hit me, cause I have gravity on my side with this weapon. Oh yeah. Nice. Little cavern down here. Ooh, cobwebs. I'll definitely take those. Sweet, tasty cobwebs. What's that up there? Is that iron? I think it's iron. Let's find out. Put the dirt this way. Wow, there's a lot of blink roots. Blink roots. <laughs> a lot of blink roots over here. Not silver. Sweet. I'll gladly take you and chop my way over here. Pick it. Pick it. Da. There we go. <laughs> That's one way to pick it. Chop that away. Nice little cavern here. Nice. What do we have here? You go digging for stone to build your castle and you get sidetracked with a lot of stuff. Oh, hello. Jungly vines. Right underneath of my home. Hey, now that I'm thinking about it, could just uh, take uh, what's going on over here and connect the path. But then, yeah, that's a long way to run just to get from the spawn point to the castle. But then again, it gives me an alternate way out to go east. And I do not have a way to east. What happens if I get enough of this blank root? Hello? What do we have here? A life crystal. That was worth it. Thank you very much. Da! Ah, pressure plates. Is that where it came from? Dart trap. Neat. Ooh. Okay. So that's what we can do with that. I'm going to make traps at my door. So that the zombies will get trapped. Aha! Now we're thinking with traps. That's smart. Actually, this is really close to uh, the other side here. Hmm. I think I will try mining up. Because then this will give me a way to the east and I won't have to mess with my castle. Hey, a jellyfish. Cool. Copper. I love me some copper. I love my copper. I love it like gersh berms. My gersh berms and my copper. Give me my copper and my gersh berms. Sorry. Sometimes I'm a little special. But that's okay. That's okay. And there we go. Nice new zone here. What do we got? Squirrel statue is what it looks like. Bat statue. Way off. Squirrels and bats are not the same. I haven't even seen squirrels in this game. Why would I assume it's a squirrel statue if I've never seen squirrels? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm special. Because <laughs> I'm talking about my girls' berms. Whatever. It's a good thing I had that torch there still. I was thinking about that at one point, and I was like, why did I leave that torch in that little cave? But now, it has a point, because it's led me to this juncture. 
And a zombie found its way into the cave. Hello, zombie. What brings you here? Stone? Jellyfish? Whatever. You're here, and that's all that matters. Yeah, <laughs> says the zombie. Uh, they like to speak to me sometimes. They say, brains, bring them to me. I say, no, I don't, I don't think I'm going to bring you brains today, zombie. I'm kind of kind of low on the brains. And then he you know, continues to go, brains? And then I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm no brains, zombie. And then the zombie laughs at me and says, haha, you say no brains, you are dumb. Then I'm like, what? You can talk? And then it goes, uh, brains. <laughs> and just carries on doing its little thing. And that, my friends, was the story of how the zombies became vocal. Tune in next time to find out how zombies learned to eat brains when they're undead corpses. Which doesn't really make much sense if you're thinking about it. How if you've died and have become reanimated that the main objective you'd have in your brain still if any objectives in your brain would be eating brains kind of awkward how that works out just a little bit I wonder that's kind of a smart idea well not really smart idea kind of a dumb idea but smart in figuring out if it would work and execution is to find the exact point where I spawn and make a gargantuan pit and see if the next time that I'd spawn if um, I was gonna put a door there but I don't know why I would and see if um, the gargantuan pit would kill me from the falling that would be an interesting idea. Is this a cave where I put that bunny? Yeah, it is. That's interesting. Uh, it's funny how things come back around full circle, huh? Yes, zombie, I'll kill you in a moment. Come on. There you go. Now you can go around and do what you want. Oh, zombies. So then this is going to be... Our entry point into my humble abode. Chop some wood real quick. Chop it in this direction to kill the zombie. Just a little bit. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Stupid how I have to click my weapon repeatedly to swing it, but with mining and other such, I don't have to repeatedly swing it. I can just hold it down. Kind of weird how that is, but whatever. I won't question it too much. Just a little bit of questioning. And we'll just drain this. Make it nice and quick to jump down. And play zero gravity. And have our torches get doused. All along the way. And let's just clear this out. Just to make some easier overhead clearance. And grab this little bit of stone. Hello bunny. Goodbye, bunny. Put that there. Give us a nice little lighted path. Hey, blink root. Sweet. Didn't even notice it there. And this is... Yeah, let's just cut this out because that's just going to make it nice and easier to get there. Because what's the point of jumping up and around when you can go on down? I should make that my theme song for life. Why jump up and around when you can go down? Why indeed? Theme song for life? <laughs> what the heck am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore. I'm just playing the game. Doing my thing. There we go. Here's this deep and deadly fall. Not really that deep and deadly, but whatever. That does beg the question of if I'm coming this way, how I'll... Well, I guess that works. Let's chop one. Bunny? What are you doing here? How in the world are you up there? I am going to have to figure this out now. Because that bunny 
is begging some serious questions. Well, hello there, copper pot. Hello there, silver ore. Why, thank you, bunny. You've shown me the light. To quite a lot of silver, actually. That's pretty sweet. I'll take it. And I think I would have never found this if it wasn't for that bunny. And I killed it. That was not very nice of me. I'll put a torch here to remember him by. It's not much, but it's a bunny. What do you expect? Some sort of ceremony? Okay, if you if you want a ceremony for the bunny, I'll just burr burr burr. There you go, there's your ceremony. End of story. We never speak of this again. Wait a minute, is that stone? Yeah, that's stone. Is this stone? Yeah, that's stone. Okay, just looked kind of weird. The chuffing. Oh boy. That's a worm. And it's a running around. Mm, yeah, about that. Put a dirt block here. Let's ignore the worm for now. Probably get rid of this little notch there. That'll work. Stupid worm! I didn't think I was ready for it. And this, I probably get rid of just to make this a little easier for jumping a little bit more free form put that torch there get rid of these oh come on you can pick it there you go you're not a miner for nothing actually now that I'm thinking about it I should probably just cut straight over here yeah, what am I thinking? This is like right next to this spot. This will make this easy. If I can see in the dark. There we go. Oop, didn't mean to throw that, but whatever. I'll just waste my glow sticks. It's all good. Probably should make some regular glow sticks from the jellyfish. I'm not going to be able to breathe. Yep, there we go. And, whoop, threw it again. Oh well. Whatever. Goodbye, glow sticks. Do I have any more? No, I don't think so. Okay. So this will be my shortcut. And definitely save a lot of time in the long run. Chop a little bit away, make it easier to jump up. And there we have it. The secondary passage. Here we go. And then we just jump up here, jump up here, jump up here, and head on up here. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, back to the castle. That was the biggest side route I've ever taken. No, Gary, you cannot have plants. It's probably actually something useful if I just leave it sit there and grow, but whatever. I'm going to take some seats. All right, we're going to end it here since it is the new day. That's a good stopping point. So, thank you very much, very, very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.